Hey guys, it's Zippin' Fire here, and I have a zombie video for you guys, because I know some of you guys requested to, to see it, because I mentioned about it, um, and I, I am going to show you guys this zombie game that um, I recorded. We didn't get too far in it, but um, that's because two guys end up leaving, or timing out. I think they disconnect or whatever. But um, this is just for fun, nothing too serious, we won't make it too far I think, but you guys can uh, get a picture of what it's like to hit fire uh, in a zombie game. No knifing, and I don't think I use grenades either, but I, I'll use monkey bombs if I get any. I won't ruin the ending, but it has to do deal with uh, monkey bombs. So I decided to take this window next to the uh, rifle gun on the wall to my left. And I'm just looking at everyone, their name, and it looks like someone got downed. And we get a nice nuke right there. Yep, the early rounds are pretty easy. Usually you want to stay in this area uh, until round 4 and then leave. Um, the end of 4 I think, get a crawler or something. If not, uh, just leave when round 5 starts. You can leave earlier if your team wants to also. The map, the zombie map I'm playing in is Durize. I don't know if you pronounce that right, if that's how you pronounce it, but um, that's how I pronounce it, Derise. It's one of the old World at War maps. If you own World at War, uh, you can play the zombie map. But this is on Black Ops, so the Black Ops guns are in the, um, the mystery box. As you can see, I have to get really close up to the zombies, and just to hit them with my pistol. But I also have to be careful and watch out uh, for their hands that swipe. Because th those will hurt you in like two hits and you're down without Juggernaut. And I don't spend any money on guns here. But I mean you can, you can buy the rifle on that wall. Or you can buy the, uh, the, the other cheap gun in the far back. Like normally I would be able to handle all of these so uh, very easily with like my knife but uh, look those guys timed out and I guess I do use grenades this game I get a lucky power up for uh, one hit uh, one hit kill either with pistol or knife but I don't use knife so I'm just one hitting these guys with the uh, Colt 1911 which is a strong gun in real life and a very nice one too. They make this gun seem really weak in the game, but it's in real life it packs a punch. If you ever watch any of F, uh, FPS Russia's videos, uh, you'll know that uh, Colt, the Colt 1911 is a really a, a reliable weapon. So now I'm stuck with yellow. I mean white. I'm yellow, I'm stuck with white. And We are on round four right now, so I mean we should be we should leave now. And I'm just like having fun, so I won't leave. I'll just play it out, cause um, just for fun, zombie game. And I I decide to go this way, and I get the Thompson because I like the gun. And I notice I don't have enough money to open that. And, and, and you don't really have to open it uh, for a while. You can you can fight in that Thompson room right there. Yeah, like if you have a party of four, one person can be in the back of where the furnace is, watching that window. One can be the, watching the side window, and two can watch the front entrance. While uh, you don't have to worry about your back because the stairs are clogged. 
If it's not open yet. So we made it all the way out here and I tried a, the mystery box one time. Oh actually I didn't try it, uh, my, my teammate did, my bad. I don't have enough money yet, you need 950 for the box. Looks like he's still using a pistol. But I think he bought the Thompson with me. And I'm just trying to get really close to the zombies but not close enough to get hurt like crazy. And I guess I'm retarded and I did use the box because I have a Spectre M4. Thompson's a really nice gun in the early games and it lasts for quite a while. You can just keep replenishing the ammo off the wall. You can't upgrade this gun, but I mean, it still runs out of ammo really fast. Especially if you use double tap. And I'm gonna want to try to waste the ammo for the Spectre so I can um, switch it out because I don't really like this gun. It's just one of those mediocre zombie guns which are uh, decent I'm wondering where the rest of the zombies are and I run over here and I see like a couple my first perk would be juggernaut cause I don't want to die in two hits And I'm just trying to open up stuff. And this place has two of the little Easter egg things for uh, playing the song in this map. So I quickly uh, press square on both of them, or X, whatever. And this window is always unboarded whenever you first come over here. So I board it up real quick and I'm just wasting ammo because I know I'm gonna get rid of this gun. My ammunition supply runs low. And look what I get. I need ammunition. Dual pistols. Um they're fun to use and I don't have to worry about not hip firing because you have to hip fire with dual pistols. But they're not really uh, that good uh to use in the later rounds. Right now it's okay, but I have to get close. So it's risky. And I have to go trigger happy when I use them. I'm just hiding behind the barrels cuz I know no zombies can like jump behind me. Just so I have some window control, but uh, my teammate's far back there, so I'm gonna have to back up with him. And we get a nice insta kill buff just to start off the round. So I can go Rambo with these dual pistols and not worrying about, you know, I'm dying. Look at this. Does that not look fun or what? <laughs> even get some double points and uh, insta kill is gonna run out but luckily uh, I managed to kill that zombie before he came and attacked me and I make it back uh, where my partner is <laughs> that was a fun little adventure looks like he has a uh, grenade launcher I think to law Or uh, rocket launcher, I mean. And then there's always these two windows over here that you can repair. So some people always run past them. And we're trying to make a crawler now. He he used the law and he missed. Thank goodness, cause my grenade um, made him into a crawler. If he had hit him with a rocket launcher, uh, that zombie would have died for sure. I'm just trying to get enough for Juggernaut. 
and I don't have enough, so we're gonna have to wait till next round. Just trying to find any onboard window. Yeah, it sucks that we lost our two teammates. I'm gonna try to juke that zombie. Don't want him hurting me. It sucks that our two teammates left, but I mean, it happens. I wonder if they're gonna come out with zombie maps again in Black Ops 2. I hope so. Um, I plan on getting it. Black Ops was a um, decent game. I mean, there were a lot of complaints and stuff, but. I mean, at least you didn't see like kill streaks constantly everywhere besides spy planes. I mean, you didn't see like you know stealth bombers and all this stuff like you see in Modern Warfare 3. People using support kill streaks. Kill streaks don't stack in Black Ops, so I mean, it kind of stopped spam, but that led to more spy planes and low kill streaks. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, I've been watching videos about it. Would you rather stack kill streaks or not? Um, I think Call of Duty uh, should either not. Um, it should be balanced. You shouldn't be able to stack sh uh, strong kill streaks. You should be able to stack weak ones. And uh, here are the dogs. And for the strong kill streaks, you shouldn't be able to stack. The dogs hunger for the fresh of us. And I'm gonna use these pistols on the dogs, but then I found out that the Thompson does a better job. And to fight the dogs, all you do is just run around in circles, never go in a, a straight direction. You always want to curve. Because the zombies will not hurt you as much. Uh, the zombie dogs will not hurt you as much if you curve around in a circle. So I just go in circle and keep firing at them, and eventually uh, we uh, take them out pretty quick. And I'm running up here to go get Juggernaut. This time I run the other way. I'm going to try to get it real quick before the round starts. And now we're good to go. Uh, my strength grows. I don't know why this guy doesn't trade in his law, but I guess he wants to continue using it since it has full ammo now. And the zombies are gonna start swarming a lot more. And that law kind of blurs your vision so it's not really a good weapon to use um, in this tight area as you can see we're kinda getting swarmed a little and I we luckily get the nuke so the little uh, swarm disappears and we quickly finish that round I'm gonna open the box and I get a pistol and I'm thinking about it and I think the two pistols are better so especially since I'm only hip firing so I let it go and my teammates gonna take a stab at the box I think surprised it hasn't moved yet because usually it moves by now But probably because it gave us crap. Oh man, they're just swarming us and non-stop. I end up opening the door. My my teammate's kind of dumb. He doesn't notice that I opened the door. He doesn't run with me. If he had a mic, uh, I mean, I would have told him. And I think he gets down right there. Yeah. And I start heading towards uh, the stairs so I can buy the STG. That gun's awesome. Do you notice I almost had a Thompson ammo? So 
get the STG, and then I'm like hip firing backwards while running up the stairs. And I want to jump off and uh, somehow juke them. And I'm on this side now. And I thought I could press the button to turn the electricity on, but I didn't have enough uh, money. I was like, oh crap, so uh, I'm in a good spot now. I'm just backing up, continuously uh, taking them out. Gotta get close to them. Yeah, zombies once in a while, it's pretty fun. I, I mean, I like it. It's, um, it can be stress relieving. You know, just shooting zombies. If you're playing a lot of multiplayer and, you know, you're getting second chance or, uh, you know, beat, like, just sniped a lot. And look at that. Uh, he gets a monkey bomb. He never uses it, though. If you just stressed out multiplayer, just play some zombies. Uh, just kill some with your teammates. And I opened the box. And uh, I got a monkey bomb, too. And I made a mistake of trying to get it. And I failed to throw it because I died so fast and it looks like my teammate did not even use it. And that's all. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm out.